Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Night's Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be doing another Hot Toys figure unboxing and review. And for all you DC fans out there, we're going to show DC some love. This is Peacemaker, the 1-6 scale figure from the Peacemaker show. This was one of my most anticipated announcements of last year, this and the Batman. As you guys know, I'm a big DC fan. I was super excited to get this. Wasn't the biggest Peacemaker fan from the Suicide Squad, but once the show hit, it was so good. If you guys haven't seen it, I really urge you guys to check it out. Now, as we get a good look at the box, I wanna invite you guys to also like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. It really does help the channel out a lot and just lets me know that you enjoy the content that I'm working so hard to create. But as we look at this box, it's definitely got a lot of color. It's got like a foil Peacemaker logo at the top. And this is going to be TMS 071. It's a fun box. It should be a really fun figure. A lot of people have said this looks like a, a cereal box type of thing. And it's got some rainbows there on the inside too. And we'll see that in a minute. But um, just a very uh, colorful art box that really does pop. We got the Doves of Peace going on there too. And when we get it out onto the table, we take the slip cover off. You do see the inside of the box. We got Peacemaker with some rainbows and some different doves going on. The back here has some wordage that you guys can read too if you really want to. It isn't my favorite style of, of box. It's the window display, which is okay, but the way that it opens, I don't know, I always have a hard time with these with the, the flaps that go everywhere, you know, tears and everything and stuff like that. Not a big deal, but I don't know, just is what it is. Once we take the clamshell off, we do have Eagly there on the top, and then we do get our first look at the figure, and this Peacemaker is gonna be one that is gonna be, again, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be one that stands out on the shelf. You can see all of the cool stuff that comes with this guy, and if you remember when he was announced, he didn't come like this. He came with the one head sculpt with the open mouth and the tongue, he came with the um, the body that was not seamless, so you know a lot of problems with it. I'm so glad Hot Toys actually took the time to fix this uh, figure. But let's just start by getting the base out here as well as the accessories, and then we'll talk about the figure itself. All right, so now that we have gone through the accessories, let's get the figure out here and talk about our John Cena as Peacemaker. This thing is so amazing. It is so cool. I'm glad to finally have it. 
I think the body looks good. Is it as big as John Cena? Probably still not, but it is 10 times better than the official announcement that Hot Toys gave. Love the seamless arms, love the color combo here with the red and the blue and then the tan pants. The likeness to John Cena looks amazing and we'll look at that in more detail. We have the chrome helmet, which is a really nice touch. I'm excited. This thing is going to be so much fun to pose and just get into some goofy, goofy poses as well. If you take a heat gun to the holster for about 10 seconds, you can break off the little piece of plastic that's holding this pistol in. And shame on Warner Brothers for making Hot Toys do this, but really good job by Hot Toys making it so you're abiding by what Warner Brothers wants you to do, but making it so we can still get that pistol out. It looks really, really good. So now that we have the pistol out, we've seen the figure. Let's put the pistol back in and set this guy up for posing. And really quickly, let's just take a look at the figure in hand so we can get a better visual here of everything that's going on. Proportions look pretty good. As we start with the head sculpt, again, I do see John Cena there. I think it looks really good. This is going to be a chrome plated like plastic piece of the mask. It is going to be a, a fingerprint magnet, so just be aware of that. The arms look great. They're going to be that rubbery synthetic material. They're going to be seamless, but they're detached at the shoulders, so there's still going to be a lot of posing. It's not a seamless body, they're just seamless arms. But even the profile looks just like John Cena. It looks really good. He's got a little bit of a, of a hunch forward, but nothing big there. And then we do have like this rubbery material going down from the side to the holster. And really cool blue belt going on here too. It's just a fun figure. These are going to be fixed in, but then we do have the suppressor that you saw me put into the holster as well. Everything else is going to be fixed. Of course, that pistol you can't take out. Um, the pants are going to be really nice too. They're going to have like this stitching going on in the knees and then in the thighs. Just to, it gives it a little bit more, uh, I guess, depth because, you know, they're not just plain Jane pants. They look really good. The boots are going to be a sculpted plastic. I do wish they were a split cut boot design. Just hinders articulation just a little bit, but they do look really good too. And there is no weathering on this guy, but that's okay. I, I'm okay with how he looks and I think he looks really good. And he was clean in the in the TV show as well. You can just see as I'm talking, I'm doing some posing here and you can see the arms are easily gonna get to a 90. They're gonna be some shrug in the shoulders as well. Double bend and it's gonna be on ratchets on the elbows. You know, you get some wrinkling there, but that's, you know, pick your poison here. You want to see the joints or you wanna have a little bit of wrinkle? You know, it is what it is. Um, swivel on the, uh, on the wrist as well and you can just see it's got a good cush. I wouldn't leave them in a dynamic pose long term just because those arms might rip or crack. You know, you want to be very careful. So this guy might be something that you don't want to do too. You don't want to have them just sitting in a dynamic pose for a long period of time. We got some swivel in the thigh and some flexibility there, some bend to about 45 degrees angle there. And then he does have a ratchet in the knee as well. It gets to about a little past 90. And again, you're just going to have a little bit of movement in the boot, but you do have some some rock and some swivel and a little bit of uh, tilt there back and forth. So it's not terrible. I've seen a lot worse, but it would have been nice with a split cut boot design. Now let's get him on the table and compare him to some of our other figures. And my only other Suicide Squad figure is going to be Harley Quinn. So why not pose them together? You can see he is taller than her by quite a bit, but they do look great together. They kind of have like the same color scheme going, so they look awesome. And then we'll stick to the same universe here and we'll have Batflick next to him. And man, Batflick is such a beast. He is even just a little bit taller than Cena here, but 
Man, he looks even just beefier than Cena. So, you know, the body could have been a little bit bigger. But again, it's not a deal breaker or anything like that. It's better than what it was. And then now let's surround him with Superman and Batman. Just so you can see the height difference here. It does look like Superman is going to be about the same size. Maybe a hair shorter. But they look really good together. This is just... Really cool looking to have these together. I'm so glad that Hot Toys made this. You know, DC doesn't get the love that they should, but I'm glad that they actually gave us the Peacemaker. So now, let's get him into some poses and talk about some of the things that I like about the figure and some things not so much. Starting with the things that I really like about this figure, the updated body. I'm just glad Hot Toys didn't give us a lazy release. They went back, they gave us the closed mouth faceplate which is a more neutral look, but they also upgraded the body. It's a little bit bigger. The arms are seamless. It looks more natural, night and day difference. The next thing that I like is going to be just the likeness to, to John Cena. I think they did a really good job with this and it just makes me smile looking at him because he's so goofy in the show and he looks like a miniature version of him from the show. So I really like that a lot as well. And the other thing that I like is that they gave us Eagly, and they did a good job. You know, some of these pet accessories, if you will, can be a little bit soft. The paint applications aren't so good, but his his um, talons look really good. The feathers have a really nice dry brushing going over it just to give it some extra depth there too. So Eagly looks really good too, and I'm so glad that they gave us that. Now for some things that I didn't like as much. Obviously, the first one is that the pistol was fixed. And that's not really Hot Toys' fault. I'm sure they were abiding by what Warner Brothers wanted them to do, but I don't get it. You're going to give a sword and an axe, but hey, let's not use the pistol. Let's make sure that's fixed because we don't want to promote violence. I mean, have you seen the show? So luckily for me, it kind of goes to one of my likes, but I really like that Hot Toys made it easily accessible that we just had to take a heat gun to it and then just apply a little bit of pressure. So thank you, Hot Toys, for doing that. The second thing that I didn't like was I wish Eagly... I wish somehow they made him easily attachable to Peacemaker, that you could put him on his arm or his shoulder. He's really hard to get to like pose on his on his arm or shoulder. I wish that they made some sort of connect connectable piece that he could easily sit on there. I just think that would have really put the figure over the top as well. And um, the last thing, you know, I, I do wish that they had an unmasked portrait of John Cena. Now that could be likeness rights, that could be licensing, that could be a bunch of other stuff. So who knows? But I'm glad that Hot Toys at least gave us the neutral faceplate. And then, you know, last thing would be split cut boot design would have been great too, but you know, you, you lose something there. Sometimes with split cut boot design, it doesn't look as real as a normal boot. So I get it. And he can stand on his own pretty well. So it's not the end of the world either. Outside of that, guys, I love this figure. This was, again, one of my more anticipated ones. It's a DC figure, so it's really awesome to support DC and get these awesome, fun figures from fun shows. So if you're into the show, if you're into John Cena, I really would recommend picking this up. I got mine from toysbuyingagent.com. You can get yours there, too. And uh, let me know if this is something you guys are thinking about picking up. Again, so much fun that you can have with this figure. I think sometimes we get the figure, we put him in the shelf, we forget about him. This is one that you can actually sit down, have some fun with, and pose, and take some cool pictures and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. And until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.